The MotorVac Dual Purpose TransTech 4 is designed to meet the changing needs of today's shop. MotorVac now offers the best of both worlds when dealing with transmission fluid exchange, offering inline and dipstick exchange capability all in one machine. The TransTech 4's conventional inline method of transmission fluid exchange using the transmission cooler lines is complemented with an adapter package that will service most domestic and import vehicles in today's market. The TransTech 4 also has the capability of performing a dipstick service through the vehicle's dipstick tube, allowing the operator to service vehicles with corroded fittings or fittings with poor access. These two features combined will allow your shop to perform an ATF exchange on a wider variety of vehicles, increasing both customer satisfaction and shop profitability with only one investment. See the MotorVac ATF Protectant application chart for the correct capacities. Fill the clean fluid tank to the correct level and type of ATF for the service. To perform an inline transmission exchange, locate the transmission cooler lines, disconnect one of the lines with the easiest access point, attach the appropriate adapters that will allow the TransTech 4 to be in line with the transmission cooling system. Hook up the adapters to either end of the H adapter with the valve partially open. Start the vehicle and observe the fluid direction traveling through the H adapter. Once the flow direction has been determined, fully open the H adapter valve. The vehicle is now in bypass through the H adapter. Connect the TransTech 4's battery cable to the battery of the vehicle being serviced. The TransTech 4 defaults to inline service. Connect the inline return hose to the output side of the transmission on the H adapter. Connect the clean fluid to the other side. Close the H adapter valve. The vehicle is now in bypass through the TransTech 4. Note that the start engine light is illuminated. Pressure should be present on the pressure gauge. If the start engine light is flashing and no pressure is present on the gauge, the hoses may be reversed. Add in the flush chemicals and follow the instructions on the bottle for idle time and any other special instructions required for the product. To begin the process, ensure the inline LED is illuminated. Press the start resume button to begin the service. The TransTech 4 replaces the transmission fluid on a 1 to 1 ratio until the fluid in the clean tank reaches the zero mark. You will see the fill and drain LEDs turn on for this process. You will also see the waste tank fill as the clean tank empties. Once the process is complete, the TransTech 4's buzzer will sound and the unit will go into bypass. The low clean fluid and complete LEDs will be illuminated. Press any key to turn off the buzzer. With the vehicle still running, Check the vehicle's dipstick to ensure the ATF is at the correct level. The drain and fill buttons are now active and ATF can be added or removed to the exact level required. It is at this time additives, supplements, or protectants can be added. Turn off the vehicle. The TransTech 4 and adapters can now be removed and the coolant hoses of the vehicle reassembled. Start the vehicle and check connections for leaks. The exchange is now complete. The MotorVac TransTech 4 also gives the operator the ability to service the transmission filter or screen with a convenient drain pan feature. This feature drains ATF out of the drain pan, eliminating spillage when the pan is removed. The drain pan feature allows the operator to perform this additional service as part of the exchange process. With the TransTech 4 connected to the transmission cooling lines and engine running, press Drain. When the transmission pan is emptied, ATF pressure in the machine drops, and a buzzer will sound. The low pressure fluid and stop engine lights will flash. Immediately turn off the vehicle's engine and press stop to silence the alarm. You can now perform a spill-free drain pan service. When the filter change is complete, press the start resume button and the TransTech 4 will refill the vehicle with the same amount of fluid removed. When the drain pan is refilled, the buzzer will sound and start engine light will flash. Start the vehicle. Press Start Resume button to begin the exchange. The remainder of the process is identical to the standard inline exchange. Exchange will continue to completion. Adjust ATF level as necessary. Turn off the vehicle. When the coolant lines are corroded or access to the lines is poor, the TransTech 4's dipstick service can be used to provide the service through the vehicle's dipstick tube. 
To complete a dipstick exchange, follow these steps. See the MotorVac ATF Protectant application chart for the correct capacities. Fill the TransTech 4 with the correct type and amount of ATF to perform the service. It is typical to use 20% more fluid than the transmission capacity to ensure the best possible exchange. Connect the TransTech 4's battery cable to the battery of the vehicle being serviced. Press the mode button to enter the dipstick service mode. Attach the clean fluid hose to the dipstick adapter. Attach dipstick wand to the dipstick adapter. The TransTech 4 comes standard with a 5 16 inch and quarter inch dipstick wands. Use the largest wand possible for the fastest exchange. Add in the flush chemicals and follow the instructions on the bottle for idle time and any other special instructions required for the product. Check the vehicle's ATF level. This ensures that the vehicle will not be low on fluid during the exchange process and ensures the vehicle will finish with the exact ATF required. Adjust the dipstick wand spacer to the exact length of the dipstick. Place the wand in the dipstick tube. The drain and fill buttons are active at this point and the ATF can be adjusted to the correct level before the service starts. Press the Start Resume button to begin the exchange process. The stop engine LED will be flashing. The TransTech 4 will drain the ATF in the pan of the vehicle. The drain LED will now be on solid. When empty, the buzzer will sound. At this point in time, the operator can perform a spill-free pan and filter service if required. Press the Fill button. This will add the exact amount of fluid that was removed. Once the process is complete, the start engine LED will begin flashing, prompting the operator to start the vehicle. With the vehicle now running, pressing the Start Resume button will continue the service. The start engine LED will now be on solid. The unit will now begin the exchange, alternating from drain and fill until the ATF in the new fluid tank reaches the zero mark. When the clean tank is at the zero mark, the TransTech 4's low clean fluid and complete LEDs will be illuminated. The buzzer will also sound. Pressing any key will stop this alert. With the vehicle running, remove the dipstick adapter from the dipstick tube and check the ATF level. If required, reinsert the dipstick adapter and press the drain or fill buttons to add or remove the ATF to the required level. Remove the dipstick adapter and store it on the TransTech 4 adapter sorter, allowing any additional ATF in the wand to drain into the adapter tray. It is at this time additives, supplements, or protectants can be added. The exchange is now complete. After every exchange, the TransTech 4's waste tank must be emptied. Open the waste hose ball valve and place into an appropriate container. Press the empty waste button and the TransTech 4 will automatically empty the waste tank. Fill the clean fluid tank with approximately 4 quarts or 3.78 liters of new ATF. Connect two compatible adapters to each other, securing tightly. Attach the clean fluid and inline return hoses together using the connected adapters. Place the waste hose into the clean tank fill neck with the ball valve open. Connect the power cord to a 12 volt DC source. Check to ensure the unit is in inline mode. Press and hold the start button for 5 seconds until the unit sounds the alarm. The fill and drain LEDs will flash. Press and hold start button again for 5 seconds until the unit sounds the alarm. The drain, fill, and complete LEDs will cycle in a clockwise direction while the unit is performing an auto prime procedure. The unit will pump fluid from the clean tank to the waste tank and set the waste tank to zero. When complete, the unit will automatically reset. Both tanks should have fluid approximately at the zero mark on the front of the cabinet. The initial setup is complete. Follow these steps if it is necessary to empty the clean fluid tank in order to change to another type of fluid. Install an open adapter on the clean hose coupler. Install hose into a capture container. Connect power cord to a 12 volt DC source. Press the mode button until both inline and manual LEDs are on. Tip the unit slightly backwards to let the fluid flow towards the back of the tank for complete evacuation. Press and hold the fill button. The pump will operate until the fill button is released. Pressing the stop button for 5 seconds will reset the unit.